Good morning, everyone. What's going on? We're back for a fresh start to a new week, Monday morning. And we've got the two piers to go, the two random piers. I'm going to go up there now before the boys get there, bang on a couple of uh, brackets and level off the profiles. We've got bricks all up there. I'm going to run a string line around. We've got about 300 bricks or so to lay. Um, and finish this one off. Hopefully we can get that done by lunchtime. I know it sounds like there's not a lot, but it's a bit tricky with the scaffold. The scaffold doesn't quite go around. We're going to be leaning over and all this sort of stuff. So we'll be pretty careful with it. Um, hopefully we can get that done by lunchtime. Tie it all up. Finally get this job ticked off. And then we're heading out to Plumpton to organise a few things. Um... To finish off one of the jobs in Plumpton, someone's just pulling up now. Interesting, I don't know who this is, but uh, sh there should only be us on site today. Anyway, we'll be going out to Plumpton to fix up that job with the wavy bed joints. And yeah, let's see how it goes. Uh, fresh week, I'm excited to see what, it, what, what comes of it. I don't know. I haven't got too much planned besides the first couple of days. I'm sure something will pop up. Um, maybe do some brick washing, maybe do some cleaning, maybe do some laying. There might be a private job to do later in the week as well, which I'll take you to a bit of a, a little wall, parting wall in the backyard of, of a mate's place. But um, yep, inside, decided to see how we go. I'm gonna go set up these profiles. So I don't know if you can see up there, but we've got them ginormous piers all the way to the top. We've got five more courses on each side. Been pretty good. What a shame. I hate when you run out of cement right at the end. We almost got there the whole way with three batches. We've got about 40 bricks or so to lay on them two piers, but they're, they're pretty high up actually. They go like 60 something courses. I haven't done one of them that goes all the way up for a long time. So they're big two rendered piers. Oh, I busted open. We've drawn blood. I don't know what I did. I think I knuckled something when I was trying to pull off the clamp. Source has been telling me to wear gloves for years, but I don't know. What do you guys do? Do you wear gloves when you lay bricks? I find they get in the way, especially when you've got a line there and the thickness of the glove just hits the line when you go to lay all the time. Let me know in the comments who, who uses gloves when they um, when they lay and who doesn't. Out. I know my hands are like calloused hard as now. Calluses are going to last forever, I think. Mrs. isn't too happy with me not wearing gloves, but got to do what you got to do, I suppose. All right, we're going to put this last batch in. We're putting a grey cement bag. I use them. I use a couple of white ones for them piers because they're rendered. But um, we're going to use another grey batch. Put half of it up. Get them 50, 40, 50 bricks, and then put take the wheelbarrow with the other half a batch out to Plumpton to have a look at see what we're going to fix up. So good day so far. Source is putting the batch in. We'll get our bricks up, and uh, we'll get out of here. All right, uh, these tall bloody piers. Monster piers have been finished. We've got them right to the top under the eaves. The eave will catch the fascia there. We've got there, so I'm just packing up and we're heading to, to out to Plumpton now to fix that job. We'll see you when we're there. All right, here we are out at Plumpton. This is what we've got to fix up. I don't know if you can see it, but from that AJ there. And above that, and above that, them two bars, there's some wavy bed joints. I don't know if you can see it from there. Can you look down there? And we've got a wave that's here from here to here. It's about five mil lower. And that's creating a dip in the bed joint there. So I'm gonna set the scaff up. And unfortunately, we've got to get these bricks up higher enough. In order to do that, we're gonna pull the two bars off. There's about 100 bricks, we're gonna have to pull this whole section off. And uh, have to set up paying for one. <sighs> what happened was the um, the windows were put in, and they weren't at the same height as the rest of the ones. The windows, these two back ones, so they're five mil, five or ten mil higher. What I should have done was gauged off the tops of the windows and the profiles before I did this back section, just to double check. I didn't. I went off the gauge that I'd run from the whole house. So what we came up with when we got to the windows heights were that our brickwork was was too high, was sitting higher than the bar. Um, sorry, lower than the bar. 
and, and that's where we got the issues there at bar height so we've got wavy bed joints and if you can see from here uh, or not but it's quite noticeable when you look along there I don't through that throughout that middle section there to the end the pain in the ass we're gonna have to pull off and get the brick hammers out and the saws and cut off 100 bricks we don't have enough mud to finish it today but We'll try and pull off the bricks and get it ready for tomorrow morning, I guess, or something, but a uh, painful day. That's all right, we've got nothing else organized. So um, we'll do this, keep the supervisors happy, and uh, hopefully we get jobs uh, after this because we're doing the right thing and coming back to fix it, make 100%. Let's get to it. As you can see, we've got rid of that dip in these bed joints, that wave, but I'm looking a lot straighter now. Don't know what quite happened there to be honest, except for the windows being slightly uh, too high and not the same height, but having said that, if you look down that, a lot straighter, no waves. Problem is we've run out of mud and bricks here, we had a few early. We had, a, we had a couple of bricks at the front uh, earlier, but we're going to run out of bricks now and run out of mud, which means we'll probably have to come back. We're going to have to get some bricks from somewhere because we saved as much as we could, but there's not many left. Other than that, it's coming up all right. We've got about 40 bricks to lay. Come back tomorrow. It's a long way to come out 40 bricks, but we've got to do it. So also go around and try and scrape up all the dags and stuff, fill in any holes that we have to because we might be washing this one, maybe. So we'll come back tomorrow and clean it all up, leave the scaffold here, hopefully it doesn't get pinched. Other than that, that'll be us. We're going to head home now. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Don't forget to like down below. Subscribe to the channel. I know heaps of people that are watching our videos aren't subscribed, according to YouTube. So hit the subscribe button. Stay involved. Stay connected with all of our new videos coming out we'll be posting heaps more we've got a lot coming up we've got a few jobs out this way and uh yeah don't forget to follow saucy sauce henderson on youtube thanks guys appreciate it we'll see you on the next one peace